Hi, I'm Carolyn. And I'm Tim. And I'm Emma. And we are at Fort St. Jean Baptiste Historical Site. This is going to be a fun adventure. Are you yeah. ready? I love forts. All right, yeah. let's go see it. years old. Probably. So do you think we'll see alligators up here? No, I've heard that they kind of thin out as you go north in Louisiana. That most of the concentration is along the ocean area. I haven't seen an alligator in the wild here. Yeah. Only captive alligators. The little baby ones are the snappy ones. But did we have a good lunch, guys? We brought tuna all mixed up, some chips to scoop it out with. No silverware necessary. Uh, finger veggies with a little bit of ranch dressing to dip dip, and strawberries! We just finished up, and as I was taking the food back to the car, a school group decided to show up. We'll uh, hopefully be able to show you how fun this, this fort is in the midst of a school group. Mommy, uh, I don't know why it's so big where we had the whole veil. Ready, set, jump. One, two. Mom? <laughs> oh, ouch. You okay? Yeah. We just made it to the fort, Fort John Baptiste. And yeah, we're gonna go uh, explore. Like they would have used spiels. Uh huh. They look like giant bunk beds. Oh, give them a little bit of light. Here's their table. Mom, look at these wooden shoes. Mommy, mom, look wooden shoes. Mom, let me see. I found wooden. Look at this okay. big wooden shoe. Yeah. Take a back. picture of it. There's their list of how much things cost. They so had a different a type of money. Libres. Beavers? One has pork, three, fifty little cold peas. Here's salt, wine, 
Look at these great big cast iron lookouts. Look at this great sugar. A hide of an animal. Maybe a coyote? Maybe. So this is where they did a lot of trading with the Indians and other people around in the area. Indians came in here? Mm -hmm. Mom, Mommy, look! Yeah. This is where they put the Mommy, we pretend we are preaching. Mom's the smallest church I've ever well, seen. Well, not very many Mom, people. Mommy, anyone's preaching. Mom, preach. Mom. Fellow human beings, we gather here today to pray to our God. What is that? Mommy, it's Mommy. It's Commander's house. Commandant's house. So, you remember the little barracks? Soldiers had to be in the little barracks, but the commandant mommy, mommy. had a big it's house. Lantern. That's a lantern. Lantern with two candles. You put <laughs> candles into it and then it shines so you can carry it around. That is an This is good solid pewter, right? Eddie, I know you're so musical. Get down, please. In my house. Good shed. This is a shed where they keep their firewood. Can we See how they would all have to sleep? Mommy, it's it's how we got so this fort was built around the 1700s. This is a recreation of it, so it's not exactly how it would look back in 1716. It was built by Frenchmen. They built it to protect their trading, so it was a trading post, and then they built the fort up around it. Do you want to know why they had to build a fort around their trading post? I don't know. Because the Spanish were trying to invade it from Mexico. Remember how close we are to Mexico way back then? We, we were not that far. This is not that far from what Mexico was. Because Mexico used to own Texas. And Texas isn't very far away, right? So they had to put a garrison of men here to protect their wares and protect Louisiana from, from the, the Spanish. From Spain. You know what, this area almost, almost spoke Spanish instead of English. This was the largest complete plantation. It was only a small part of a plantation. Far more important was the work done beyond the main house. Here, back of the big house, is where the workers enslaved, then sharecropper, did the work that produced the wealth. Plantations resembled small towns. Very rarely do you encounter original outbuildings where generations of people worked and lived, including barns, smokehouses, kitchens, storehouses, sheds, cabins. And that's right. What is the road? Yeah. What is this road? a pretty cool plantation. It's a free National Park Service uh, location and there are these locations you can scan with your phone to uh, get audio explanations of some of the barns and carpenter shop and all kinds of stuff. It's really cool.
coordinates, which is prevalent in the interior walls of the main house. Today, Oakland's main house stands as an excellent example. The lawn in front of the main house is lined with large live oaks. The large oaks. I love the large They provide both meat and eggs. They could be maintained on very small. their walls. Wow. You see the different wallpapers and then another year, you know, a couple of years later they wallpapered it again. And that's that's all so the last slave family to be tenants in this building here have were here for over five or six generations, which is absolutely incredible. And I guess last year that family came to this house for a family reunion. So, so much amazing history here. Okay, how how many Junior Ranger badges do you have? Um, oh, um, I remember two, Pearson three. Air and Field, then Fort, Vancouver. Vancouver. Fort Vancouver, and then Mount Rainier, and then we did a state one here, where was it? Um, in, uh, when we went to oh, um, West Monroe, we did a state oh. badge. So I need you to raise your right hand. There you go. I always wait because it looks confusing if I swear. All right, you're gonna repeat after me. As a junior ranger. As a junior ranger. So that our heritage is protected. Is protected. Good job. Whoa. Excellent. That was really good, you guys. Yes, yes. that was, was very good. good. It was junior rangers. Good job. There is your badge. Watch Ooh, the pin. Nice. Good job. There we you go. Look at the catalog. Good. It's been a very fun day. We didn't realize that there was a national park, national historical park. park here. And so the kids actually got to do a Junior Ranger badge here in Louisiana. Here, let me see your badge. So it's the Cane River Creole National Historic Park. I think the kids enjoyed themselves. They learned a lot about plantations. We had a lot of fun learning about plantations and who lived on plantations and what was grown on plantations and how through history uh, plantations changed and and grew and... Cotton was the main plant. Cotton was one of the main plants and they also grow lots of other vegetables and crops. Corn being another one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, give us a shout out. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Twitter! Twitter as well. And feel free to email us at rvdiaryofafamily at gmail.com. Bye everyone! Bye.